Let's try an official SAT math question, which is apparently hard. NQ and NR intersect at P. NP equals QP and MP equals PR. What is the measure of angle QMR in degrees? And here is an amazing picture that is not drawn to scale with two angles given, 60 degrees and 70 degrees. Now, the first thing you should do in a problem like this is to mark the given so you don't forget them. So NP is equal to QP, so this length is equal to this length. And MP is equal to PR, so this is equal to this. And we're trying to find angle QMR, which would be this angle. Now, notice that angle QMR is the same angle as PMR. It's kind of obvious, but it allows us to now shift our perspective to triangle PMR, which is an isosceles triangle. And whenever you're taking the SATs or any test and you see an isosceles triangle, it's probably not an accident. Because an isosceles triangle has a very important property, which is that the angles opposite the congruent sides are also congruent. So this is congruent to this, or in our picture, this angle is congruent to this angle. So the remaining angle here in triangle PMR, what is that? Well, as you can see, P, uh, MPQ is just a straight line, right? So this angle and this angle should be supplementary. They should add up to 180 degrees. So this angle should be 120 degrees. And in any triangle, all the angles add up to 180. So if that's 120 degrees, there's 60 degrees left over to split equally between this angle and this angle, which makes this 30 degrees, which is the answer to the question, 30. By the way, notice we never used this fact that NP is equal to QP. So this segment being equal to that segment doesn't matter, and that angle being 70 degrees doesn't matter. So the problem writers are trying to trick you, and maybe that's why this problem is hard, is that you don't even need to use all the information for the problem.